I'm John Shaman in Fort Pierce, a city that made national news last week after a mass shooting during a Martin Luther King Jr. Day event. City leaders hoping news like that does not blunt the momentum that they appeared to be building going forward. Bob Hodgins had spent the last several winters in Stewart. Overcrowding and the traffic has crept up all the way to the coast. So when he couldn't find anything there this season, he headed north to Fort Pierce and really liked what he found. It's like a new experience for finding all kinds of nice places to spend time. It's that kind of sentiment that's music to the ears of Mayor Linda Hudson. It is a city that we've learned that if you come here and visit, you say this is a great place. I believe citizens want community service. The mayor and city commission engaged in an all-day strategic planning session Tuesday to map out the city's vision in the coming years. A negative perception of the city is listed under long-term challenges and opportunities. And I've always said the most important thing to me is that we have a safe city, and we do have a safe city. While the city's violent crime rate is higher than the state average, FBI data shows the overall crime rate is falling, a trend that could transform its image. And there are a number of transformative projects already underway in the city. The King's Landing project will bring apartments, retail, and the first hotel to the city's downtown core. Eclectic variety, but really towards the coastal theme. And business owner Becky Demanuel at Sheik and Shore banked her future on 2nd Street in Fort Pierce 10 years ago. She's optimistic the city can rebound from this month's tragedy. It's a lovely place to visit, eat, shop you know, sporting events, everything. As for Bob Hodgins, if he comes back to Florida next winter, it just might be Fort Pierce again. We're really enjoying it. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.